Thanks for stopping by to Like a Hawk. Great to see you. Hope you had a nice long weekend for those in the U.S. and I guess England as well. Um, today is just the hits, my weekly recap of the hits that I had on the channel last week. And as always, we start off with your hits from the week that was last week. And we have a nice little list here. We have five people. We're going to start off with Duncan Moss in a 2017 Football Classics at a very good price. Was shocked when he pulled a numbered 4 out of 15 Doug Baldwin. So congratulations, Duck, uh, Duncan. Scott Savinsky won a Jason Aaron Goldberg subscriber giveaway. And inside of the packs he opened, he got a purple numbered Verlander fortune teller from Gypsy Queen. And also a patch relic from Topps 2017. And he's still not done, so... Keep getting those monsters, Scott. Uh, Love Hippies Chicks was going through his 2019 Top Series 1 and noticed his Chris Sale 1984 repent had a variation. So here is the card. There's the card of Chris Sale. And you're never going to guess what this was. That was a one of one. So... That's a good thing to be checking your cards, especially these 84 reprints. I didn't even know that there would be your number would be down there. So please check your 84 reprints or anything else for that matter to see if you have it. Because that to me, that looks very innocuous. That, that could be anything. That could be a regular card. So be sure to check those out. Uh, Jason Wento found a Bowman Mega Box. He said he found the, uh, the Bigfoot. And he got a Tatis Base and Mojo Refractor. So congratulations, Jason. And Lance Graham back at it with the 2019 Raw in two hanger boxes. Pulled a Apollo Crews base card auto parallel redemption. Great job in a hanger box. And in 2019 Raw Blaster got a Raw championship medallion of Alexa Bliss 83 out of 99. So I hope I got all the comments. Again, if you want me to tell everyone about your hit in the comment section in the next Just the Hits, then leave it in the comments in any of the videos and I'll aggregate those and tell everybody about it. So I have a special surprise at the end, um, but before that, we're going to get through what happened on the channel last week. So last week we were supposed to be doing WWE Undisputed and unfortunately it got pushed back and I have a feeling this is going to happen every year because it just is dependent on if the wrestlers can get the autos back to tops. So um, I'm guessing that there was quite a few that didn't and they had to push it back just like last year. So... I hope that they'll just kind of make the release a later date and maybe ship the cards out to the wrestlers earlier. I don't know, but it's 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 not not good when two years in a row, at least when I've been looking at it, that Undisputed has been pushed back. So decided to show off some of my Raw Deal cards. So Raw Deal is a collectible card game like Magic, uh, and they had these belt cards. So I kind of went through the belt cards. Um, you got one of these for winning a tournament. Uh, you built your deck, you got uh, one wrestler, there, I think there was a tag team, there was a two-man power trip at one point. Um, and if you won the tournament, you would get one of these belt cards. Um, also, I think some of these were in boxes or something. It's been a while since I played this game. It was good to hear that some other people played the game. Um, but those were the title belts, so I decided to show those off. And then I decided to show off autos. So I got some autos of wrestlers because at the time, I was a big wrestling fan in... Uh, the early 2000s and I thought the raw deal cards were a great one to have them signed because you could get the wrestler and then have it signed by them so I actually got the timekeeper to sign his card and he was super excited to have anybody come up to him and ask him for an autograph so that was really cool uh, we had Deborah signing the puppies puppies card we had Devon signing the Devon get the table card I thought that was kind of appropriate uh, Scotty Tuhati didn't really have a ton of cards but he was on the reversal so I got him on the reversal signed right there uh, Spike at the time did not have any wrestlers, so I just had the generic Dem Dam Dam Dudleys, and he signed it with the little, I guess the glasses right there. I think that's supposed to be glasses. Um, and then uh, Chris Benoit. So I say what you will about him, uh, there is Chris Benoit autograph. So um, on Thursday we open up a box of Pro Debut 2019 Pro Debut, and inside we had some nice hits, some nice parallels. Um, so this is what again, this is what the basic card is going to look like. So again, it's that part of that top series one set in the back of that. So there's the Franco and the Guerrero Jr. base. Uh, we have this uh, promo night uniform. So they had different promos, uh, leaps and bounds. This is uh, another promo night, another leaps and bounds. 
the field. We only got one of these. Ben's Biz. And then another Leaps and Bounds. Um, the bigger hits out of this was the uh, the Mike Trout. So this is the 10th anniversary reprint, I believe, of these cards. So there is Mike Trout when he was in the minor leagues. Um, we had a numbered Corey Ray. That was numbered out of 99, 80 out of 99. We had a Chad Spanberger, who's having a tough time right now, I believe, in double A. 19 out of 50 on that one. I decided to look up some of these players afterwards to see what, what they're at. So that was kind of cool. Um, we got a couple relics. So you get two relics and two autos. So our first relic was a medallion, Grayson Rodriguez medallion right there. Heavy card, super cool. 93 out of 99. We had a Fragments of the Farm of Dustin May. This is the top of the dugout. So I thought that was kind of cool. And then our autos, Grant Levine. This is a sticker auto. Uh, and this is 22 out of 99. I was reading a scouting report, and they mentioned that he was like a young Anthony Rizzo, so that was appropriate. Um, and on top of the appropriateness, I got Miguel Amea, which is the Cubs' top prospect. He is a catcher right now. Um, so that was kind of cool to get the Anthony Rizzo, quote-unquote, and then the Miguel Amea, the top Cubs prospect. And then the big card out of it was Wander Franco, SP. So I think these are one in six, seven boxes or eight boxes, I think. Um, so we'll have to see. I was I was kind of figuring if this was going to be a hit forward or not, and I, I don't know. Um, I think we're going to pass on it because I just did a hit it forward, but that was probably the biggest hit out of the box. Um, and then we ended on Thursday with a box of 2019 Legacy. I'm having a soft spot for this uh, for this set. So here is the base card right there. And there's the back of that. People have mentioned that this may be, they're wondering if this is going to be like their, the Panini Classics the set that they've put out before. Uh, we'll have to see if they're going to do another classic set, but that's the base card. And then there's all these types of inserts. So for the ages, there's a Cole Beasley. Uh, we have a Legacy. It's one of these per, per box, I want to say. No, one maybe, I don't know. These Legacy cards were... Uh, were kind of tough to get from um, from the different breaks that I saw. I don't know if those were one per case. It was, I don't know, we'll, so we'll have to see. Timeless Talent, Record Book, Record Book, Record Book. Might be one per box, I think. Lasting Legacies, Barry Sanders, that was cool. And then we got some Chrome, the Chrome Sterling Sharp. And the numbered cards, so Bryce Love, this is out of 199. If you don't like rookies, this is kind of rookie heavy. So um, Baker Mayfield, 299. There were a lot of um, rookie parallels that were in there. Like this, this is my lowest one. Derek Dexter Lawrence strikes again. I got his auto and score, and now I got a 13 out of 25 base card in here. Sam Darnold, 20, 20, 38 out of 50. So it's cool to get the top quarterbacks from last year. Uh, David Sills. Um, more chrome action. Carson Wentz going out to Gary S. at some point. You have Preston Williams, uh, Greedy Williams, and Mac Wilson out of 299. Uh, our two autos, Travis Homer. This was unnumbered, but it's cool that it was a prism. That's silver. Then we got a super cool Hollywood Henderson for the, the Cowboys PC. I am a Cowboys fan. If you've watched my video, so this was cool to add to the Cowboys PC. I did get into a case break in Layton because it was a random team case break, and it was 30 bucks. So I figured, sure, I'll, I'll try it for 30 bucks. And I'm not going to tell you what team I got, and I'm not going to tell you what I got. In uh, We'll just have to show it sometime in, uh, in the mail. So I got that. I'd also like to uh, apologize for not getting to the comments. I kind of took the weekend off because of Memorial Day. Um, I will be getting to all your comments and responding to those um, on Tuesday. And then finally, with the surprise, I'm going to the National this year, and I wanted to have something nice to give to people, uh, or some type of token to give to people who recognize me or want to talk to me um, at the National. So you know how Topps has, has these cards where you can make your own card? So I decided to make my own card. Um, and we're unveiling the card for the first time. So this is the official Like a Hawk Cards rookie card. It's in the early 70s set, so I made a Leica Hawk from the Allen and Ginter and decided to use that as the logo. And then on the back, this is what it says on the back. Uh, position YouTube, hometown, parts unknown, 
uh, or, you know, it's Chicago. So, um, but there you go. So, and again, I really appreciate everybody's support. I do have some of these. If you win a prize pack, feel free to ask me for one of these and I'll throw one in. Or if you want one, I can always just uh, send one um, just through a PWE, plain white envelope, and uh, we'll get one to you. And if you really want me to sign it, I'll sign it. But if, if you want, I'll just leave it like this. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, and I only have 50 of these, so um, we'll see if I have some remaining to the, uh, to the national, but I thought that'd be kind of cool to give out to those. So, um, this week, Wednesday, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with wrestling. I know we're definitely going to be talking about AEW. Um, and on Thursday, I think we're going to be doing a mail day because I received some stuff from Victor, low budget card collector and, uh, it come up an egg. Uh, so I'll get to all that mail on Thursday. So I appreciate you checking out this video. Thank you so much. Like, subscribe. Feel free to tell me about your hits, as I mentioned before. I will tell everybody about those in the next Just Hits video. And, of course, there's Instagram and Twitter at Like a Hot Cards, all one word. Hope you have a lot of luck in your next break, and thanks for watching Like a Hawk.